This video contains all that you need to know before you fill the forms of JAM or appear for JAM. In this video, we will discuss about the subjects as well as their cutoff markings. So, before you start your preparation, go through this data that will help you prepare for the exam. For basic details of JAM 2018, you can watch our previous video. Now, let's begin. First, let us see the subjects for which the exam is conducted. There are seven subjects available for different courses like MSc, PhD, MTech, integrated PhD and more. Any candidate can register for one or two papers which means you can give JAM for a single subject as well as for two subjects simultaneously. The subject choice depends on you. Mathematics, Physics, Chemistry, Mathematical Statistics, Biotechnology, Biological Sciences and Geology are the seven subjects. If you are going with Mathematics, you can fill an optional of Mathematical Statistics as well because the syllabus covers math syllabus with an addition of statistics part. So if you have prepared for maths, you can also manage to solve the paper of mathematical statistics even if not prepared. Choosing biotechnology and biological sciences will also be a good combination. Mathematics with physics or with chemistry will also be good choices. It depends on the genre you like. Choosing physics or chemistry with biotechnology will also be a good choice because the syllabus of biotech itself contains physics and chemistry. The syllabus of these subjects are available online and you can easily download it from Google. The cutoff marks in 2017 for general category is being shown here and for reserve category the cutoff markings are shown on the screen. For mathematics it was 19.51, for physics 14.79, for chemistry 23.25, for mathematical statistics 19.04, for biological science 33.99, for biotechnology 26.67 and for geology 33.29. It can be figured out from the cutoff list that it is not so much difficult to clear this test if studied with all your concentration and strategy. After the result announcement, the candidates selected in the merit list will have to fill online admission form. Candidates can apply for one or more academic programs based on the qualified test papers. The authority releases three admission lists and the candidates are selected on the basis of their ranks. Every student who qualified the exam is provided with scorecard so that when a seat is left vacant, the other candidates can be considered. Few years back, only at IITs participated in JAM, but now some NITs also take admissions on the basis of JAM score. The certificate of JAM qualification also have important in some MNCs even if the candidate did not get admission on the basis of it. We will tell you about the preparation strategy of JAM in our next video. So please stay tuned by subscribing our channel. If you found this information useful, then please like, share and comment us. And finally, thanks for watching.